What are the facts about federal bank fraud? Attorney Russ Kaufman explains that. Bank fraud occurs when an individual or entity knowingly engages in a scheme to defraud a financial institution. Bank fraud may also occur when an individual obtains any of the money of a financial institution by means of false or fraudulent pretenses, representations, or promises. A material misrepresentation may take many forms. To be fraudulent, any misrepresentation must be related to the scheme. It must either help the defendant perpetrate the crime or convince a purported victim to believe the defendant. Federal bank fraud requires that a scheme to defraud must have existed at the time the alleged crime occurred. A scheme is a course of action taken to deprive another person, business, or organization of property or money. For an alleged crime of bank fraud, the other person, business, or organization is a financial institution. Types of bank fraud include bank impersonation, forgery, fraudulent loans, and internet fraud. Bank impersonation occurs when one or more person acts as a financial institution, often by setting up fake companies or creating websites in order to lure people into depositing funds. Forgery occurs when a person alters a check, such as adding a zero to the end of a number, resulting in more money being deposited in the forger's pocket than intended by the check writer. Forging a person's signature in order to cash or deposit a check is also considered forgery. An individual who takes out a loan, knowing that he or she will immediately default on the loan or file bankruptcy, has committed bank fraud. An individual has also committed bank fraud if he or she uses a false identity to obtain the loan or forges information on a loan application. Internet fraud occurs when someone creates a website for the purpose of posing as a bank or other financial institution to fraudulently obtain money deposited by other people. A conviction for bank fraud can have a wide range of consequences, including incarceration, career decimation, or even deportation for a non-citizen. If convicted of bank fraud, the defendant may be sentenced to up to 30 years in prison and fines reaching $100,000 plus full restitution costs. For a free phone consultation, contact attorney Russ Kaufman in New York at 646-453-6009 or visit his website at www.lebedinkaufman.com.